This video is meant to help you step into forgiveness and eventually as well into unconditional forgiveness and then to move beyond forgiveness. And yes, I will explain this further later on. It's a mental exercise, so you can close your eyes. It will help you to focus better. Take a deep breath in. Relax, close your eyes and breathe out. Think of a person in your life whom you would like to forgive for something. Which emotions come up when you think about this person and their actions? Be there for the pain that's inside your heart. By feeling it, you heal the wound. If you still have any revenge or self-pity, can you see that you are suffering more than you need? Because you could also use that attention space to step into forgiveness and loving your own heart. Are you willing to step into forgiveness? If so, make the choice to forgive. You can execute forgiveness by will. It needs nothing else than your willingness to forgive. Do you feel that willingness in your heart? Then picture this person inside your mind and say to them, I forgive you. I forgive you for fill in the blank, whatever comes up.
And then see if you can also complete the following sentence. I thank you for fill in the blank. If you, in the future, still notice a tendency to stay around in patterns of resentment, revenge, or self-pity, affirm for yourself every time that happens, every time you catch yourself feeling resentment again, affirm, I choose forgiveness. And now imagine for a moment what it would be like to be a forgiving person. Meaning that whatever people do, you are forgiving of it. And you have not only forgiven everything of the past, but also everything that's happening in the present and that might happen in the future. So you are forgiving unconditionally. You love others unconditionally. You accept their humanness. You know that everyone is always doing the best they can. And that underneath whatever behavior they display, there's an innocent soul that's learning and evolving. And you're loving that soul. Sometimes they learn through making harmonious choices. And sometimes through unharmonious choices. And you're not judging about either. You're simply lovingly supporting their processes. Can you imagine that? And so on a higher level, you see that actually there's nothing wrong and thus nothing to forgive. There are only things and people to see and love. Can you imagine that? And now let's forgive ourselves. Can you think of something you would like to forgive yourself for? Just choose one of the things that come up to work with right now and you can always do this exercise again later. Say to yourself, I forgive you. I forgive you for Fill in the blank, whatever comes up.
and set the intention that whenever this issue comes up again, you'll remind yourself of the fact that you made the choice to be forgiving and you're choosing forgiveness again. So set the intention right now to keep choosing forgiveness. Would you like to not only forgive yourself for this one thing, but for everything of past, present and future? If you like to become unconditionally forgiving towards yourself, do so now by willing and deciding to do so. Say to yourself, you're now already completely forgiven for everything of past, present and future. I'll repeat that. You're now already completely forgiven for everything of past, present and future. And when any unforgiving feelings come up, know that you have already forgiven those too. Everything from now on happens within the space that you created of unconditional forgiveness for yourself. Can you embrace your own humanness? Can you love your learning process? You never came here to be perfect from the start. You came here to have a journey of evolution. So although some feelings are more easily resolved by stepping into forgiveness, you can now also see that you have never done anything wrong. And so there has never been a need to be forgiven for anything. There has never been a standard you should have been measured by. You just were, you just did, and you evolved through it. Can you embrace that? Can you love that? End this exercise by simply saying to yourself, I see you and I love all of you. Then breathe in. And slowly breathe out and open your eyes again. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time 
moving through forgiveness. I hope it felt powerful and shifted something in your heart. If you loved it, you might also love to, um, to take a look at some other stuff that I made because this exercise is actually part of a course I made, a video course on relationship skills. And there are a few lessons on free preview. You don't uh, need to, you know, fill in any details to get there. You can just simply follow the link that is here and in the description box. And there's one lesson on free preview about self-love. Um, and there's one on how to transform your social life. What can you change and how can you do that? Um, it's a, the lessons are, are pretty long. It's like 45 minutes and they come with exercises as well. Um, the self-love lesson also comes with a beautiful video full of affirmations. Um, and then there's also a, a one other lesson on free preview um, about clear communication. How to kickstart clear communication in your relationships. So if you feel um, enthusiastic about that, I would love to see you there. I wish you a great day. If you like the video, please give it a like. I don't know, it's somewhere here. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Um, and leave a comment if you wish. And that's it. Have a beautiful day.